It is alleged that the two Nambian males, 29-year-old Teisto Shamingi and Setson Chikuyele, who are employees at the studio, gained entrance through a broken window. They then stole the items on Saturday, upon which one of them hitchhiked to Winduk to look for a buyer. The items were sold to a 38-year-old Chung Chang, a Chinese national, who owns a shop number 23 at Chinatown in Winduk for an amount of $10,000. He was arrested and charged for being in possession of stolen goods. According to Regional Crime Investigations Coordinator, Deputy Commissioner Moses Skyrabeb, the Chinese national is currently out on bail after he was arrested for being in possession of elephant tusks. Kairapep issued a word of advice to employers and those intending to buy stolen goods. Before employing employees to profile them, because they might be criminals with previous records. The warning is that they will end up in charging for receiving or possession of stolen property. So they rather cooperate with the police officers instead of buying. The owner of the studio, Marlon Bayer, only discovered the break-in on Monday morning and checked the camera in the studio, which showed the two men, who were later identified by their colleagues because of the clothes they were wearing. The goods were recovered yesterday after one of the suspects was interrogated by the police and then let them where the items were sold. Bayer, who is also the head of the neighborhood watch at Oshuarongo, held the cooperation of the watch and the police. The case was postponed to the 3rd of next month for further police investigations and for them to seek legal representation.